Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss about the linearity checking in MATLAB. Okay, you already might have studied in systems, different types of systems are there. And in systems classifications, you might have studied linear and non-linear system. How to check system linearity in MATLAB? This is one of the most important lab experiment from the DSP subject point of view. And you should understand it for the practical applications also. So let us try to understand how to write the code for this. So see, the aim of uh, the experiment is to determine the linearity of a system. Okay. And what is system? You know, we process some input signal x of t or input sequence x of n, if you consider a discrete case, via one uh, black box. For the time being, just assume this as black box and we get some output signal according to our desire. Okay, this black box which process the input signal to give the output signal, this is called system, right? Now, there is certain criteria. If one system uh, follows that criteria, then only we are going to uh, conclude that that system is linear system and that is H of a, H of A1 X1 T plus A2 X2 T equal to A1 H of X1 T plus A2 H of X2 T. That means you take one sequence, you multiply with some constant value A1, you take another sequence, you multiply with another constant A2, then if you give this whole uh, A1 X1 T plus A2 X2 T as the input of a uh, system, then the response, the output uh, signal or output sequence should be equal to uh, what? It, it should be equal to if you process x1 t via the system and multiply with constant a1 and you process x2 t via the system h and you multiply with a2 and if you sum them up, this factor should be equal to the previous, this factor, right? So this is what the condition for linearity. Now let us check how to determine linearity via MATLAB. So, if some system response or some system transfer function is given and you have to determine whether the system is linear or non-linear, then what are the things you should know? First of all, x1, t, x2, t, these two test signal you should know, a1, a2 you should know and the system transfer function h you should know. Otherwise, how uh, on what you will try to find linear linearity or non-linearity, right? So these things will be given in the question. Just you have to determine whether the system is linear or non-linear. So let us uh, try to understand via this problem. The question is check the linearity where h of z. That means one system whose transfer function is given in terms of uh, z domain. h of z equal to 2.2403 plus 2.4908 z to the power minus 1 plus 2.2403 z to the power minus 2 by 1 minus 0 0.04 z to the power minus 1 plus 0 0.75 z to the power minus 2. Here in this case it is given like this h of z. Sometimes they may give like difference equation like y of n uh, is equal to some constant into x of n plus some constant into x of n minus 1 like that. You have to convert the differential difference equation into the transfer function. I hope you know how to convert this. You already studied in theory and the input should be like this x1 n as cos 2 pi 0 0.1 into n x2 n as cos 2 pi 0 0.4 into n a as 2 b as minus 3 here a b is according to our theory a1 a2 it is given as a and b as 0 uh, sorry a as 2 and b as minus 3 now you have to determine whether the given transfer function or uh, of the system that is the system is linear or not so let us do step by step so let me directly go to MATLAB and let me show you these steps. You just you just note down this question, okay? So let us directly go to MATLAB. So see, the first step is define the region, uh, define the n value, that is the time sample value, because you cannot plot or you cannot take the output for infinite samples, right? So basically first define the time sample. Let me take minus 30 to 30. Now define the first sequence x1 n which was equal to cos 2 star pi star 0 0.1 star n. Okay. Let me uh, plot this. Okay. So, stem in comma x1 of n. 
okay control a evaluate selection see this is like this type of sequence okay fine now what i want to do let keep this one and our second sequence so x to n was cos 2 pi 0 0.4 into n okay so let me give the second sequence also x to n equal to cos 2 star pi star 0 0.4 star n okay fine let me check once again 0 0.4 n okay fine now this will be stem uh, n comma x2 of n okay so x level will be time sample y level will be amplitude okay and title is what second input signal okay just copy this i will make use of subplot later but for the time being let us do the basic framework so this is first input signal okay fine now next step is see here here now we know x1 and x2 now what we have to do we have to filter it that means we have to take y of t from the input x of t by passing the x of t or x of n through the system right so basically now we have to make the system so num that is numerator coefficients if you already know how to write then well and good if you don't know you just check my previous video where i discussed stability checking of a system there i have told how to check that i say i will post the link in the description if you want you can check so num coefficients or numerator coefficients are 2.2403 uh, 2.4908 2.2403 right so write num as 2.2403 then denominator coefficient as uh, uh, sorry second numerator coefficient is 2.2403 4908 and third one is 2.2403 okay now define denominator coefficient then equal to what is denominator coefficient let's check 1 minus 0 0.4 0 0.75 it is already arranged in proper order z to the power 0 z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 2 again here z to the power 0 z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 2 so we no need to do anything but if it is not arranged in a proper manner suppose after 1 it is 0 0.75 z to the power minus 2 suppose the middle term is not there for z to the power minus 1 then you have to give like this 1 comma 0 comma 0 0.75 for defining denominator coefficients because you, you should uh, uh, you should make you make the you should write the code in such a way that MATLAB will understand what is the coefficient co coefficient of z to the power 0 what is the coefficient of z to the power minus 1 what is the coefficient of z to the power minus 2 right so here no need to think about anything because it is already arranged so you just keep this point in mind if you uh, check my stability videos uh, on uh, MATLAB you can easily understand I will post the link no need to worry so denominator coefficient is 1 minus 0 0.4 and then 0 0.75 right this was the denominator coefficient now 1 minus 0 0.4 0 0.75 fine now this becomes our denominator now what we want to do we want to see now the question observe it clearly we have to pass see we need h of x1 t h of x2 t and h of a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t okay so to get the output from the uh, system we are, we can use filter operator so y1 equal to filter num comma then comma uh, what was our first signal x1 of n right so x1 of n and if some initial condition are there you should write ic like this and first you should define here ic equal to something you have to mention in these brackets suppose 5 uh, 5 and uh, 10 if it is given in the question but for the time being in our case in initial condition or ic is not given so we are not going to write that okay so y1 is the 
filter output or the output of x1 if we pass x1 via the system we can get y1 okay now we got y1 now y2 is the response of x2 so filter num comma den comma x2 of n okay now what we have to do see y1 that is h of x1 we already got y2 that is h of x2 we already got now we have to get a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t okay so what is a1 a2 values a1 a2 values are given as a as 2 b as minus 3 right so write a equal to 2 b equal to minus 3 now define another signal x3 as a star x1 n plus b star x2 n this becomes a of x1 t plus b into x2 t now we have to pass this so y3 equal to filter num comma 10 comma x3 okay now this is y3 that is basically what that is basically h h of a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t that should be equal to a of h of x1 t plus a, a1 of a, a h of x1 t plus a2 h of x2 t right so let me define z as a of a star h of x1 t is y1 right because the filter output of x1 right see this line so a of y1 plus b star y2 so according to theory y3 should be equal to z that's what we have to prove right now what you do in matlab to prove that y3 and z are equal what we will do we will subtract those two y3 and z we will subtract it should come as zero if the system is linear because y3 should be equal to z that is h uh, you, that condition should be satisfied for linearity right so what we will do p equal to y3 minus z let me write and stem in comma p okay let me remove these stems because i don't want to plot this later i will in my next video i will show you the whole code but for the time being our intention is to check whether p is zero or not okay control a evaluate selection see some error is coming let us check first input signal okay here first input signal okay title i am not going to plot in this video i will show you later in my next video so for the time being just remove these two lines and let us check control a evaluate selection undefined variable x okay let us check where we have written x x x x x x uh, x1 n acha uh, p equal to y3 minus z right because y3 is this filter and z is our a y1 okay so that should be z evaluate selection c whether this system is linear or not from the output you just tell me it appears that the system is non-linear right but no this is linear then you may think why because p should be equal to zero because if we subtract this left hand side from the right hand side if those are equal for case of linear system then the output should be zero but here it is not equal to zero right but no see the power 6 into 10 to the power minus 15 order okay 10 to the power minus 15 means very small we can easily neglect this in matlab due to high accuracy it is giving some values but the see the order 10 to the power minus 15 is negligible right if the order is higher that means if the values are more for p then we could uh, conclude that the system is non-linear but as if the order is 10 to the power minus 15 so we can assume that the system is linear because the p is almost equal to 0 so y3 minus z equal to 0 that means y3 equal to z that means a of h of x1 t plus b of h of x2 t is equal to h of a of x1 t plus b of x2 t 
okay that means the system is linear i will post the code in the description of my this video you can check from there and in my next video i will write the labeling properly so that you can easily understand thank you